Hi, this is Christian Cantrell with Watch Report, and today I want to show you the Rolex GMT Master II. This is definitely one of my favorite watches. It's a really, really beautiful watch. You have a nice thick sapphire crystal. You can see how thick it is there. You have the, uh, the Cyclops over the date there to magnify the date, make it easier to see. You have a uh, very nice, very well-designed, very robust bi-directional rotating bezel. You have a uh, very nice, very well-constructed, solid stainless steel case and a very nice uh, brushed stainless steel bracelet, a double locking clasp with the, uh, the signature Rolex crown, and a uh, screw down crown here, again with the, uh, the signature Rolex crown on it. It's a very beautiful watch. The um, hour markers and the hands are all painted with luminescent paint, which is actually uh, pretty decent, pretty bright. Let me turn up the lamp here and show you. So you can see that pretty well. Even the uh, the 24 hour hand there. So this is a GMT watch. This is a uh, it's a watch that allows you to track multiple time zones. You can see it has four hands. You have the standard hour hand, minute hand, and the second hand there. And then you have this red hand, which is the 24 hour hand. And the idea is that the hour hand and the 24 hour hand uh, generally show the same time. And what you can do is as you travel you know, either east or west and in and out of time zones is that you can change the primary um, hour hand very, very easily on this watch. And then it also, the, the movement also changes the date at the same time that you change the hour hand. So it's um, very, very convenient for traveling. So I'll give you a quick demonstration of how it works and how you set it. Um, it's a, um, it's, it, sets, it, it sets very differently than, than other watches and you use it differently. Um, and I've, I've even seen people who have this watch and who love it and who swear by it who actually don't know how to use it. So um, I'm going to, uh, to show you guys how to use it. First thing you do is unscrew the crown here. And if, if you ever are wondering why Rolexes are so expensive, just spend some time handling one. Unscrew the crown, set it, you know, wear it for a couple days, feel the stainless steel, and it's all so well built, it's so solid that uh, you, you understand very quickly why they, why they cost so much and how much craftsmanship goes into a timepiece like this. So I'm going to unscrew the crown here, and it's going to pop out to the first position here in just a second. Okay, and in the first position, the watch is in a manual set, uh, manual wind mode, which means that, there it goes, it just popped out, which means that uh, you can wind the watch manually. It's an automatic watch, so it typically winds itself. Um, but you can also wind it manually, which is really nice to be able to do that. Um, to fully wind the watch, you, um, you do about 30 turns, between 25 and 30 turns um, away from you, or clockwise. Um, the watch is already wound, so I'm not going to do it now, but um, it's very nice to be able to, uh, when you first pick the watch up, if it's not wound, to fully wind it uh, manually, and then as long as you wear it, it has about a 35 to 40 hour power reserve, so it'll always stay stay running as long as you're wearing it and providing it with a little bit of motion. So the next thing you want to do to set a watch like this, I'm going to set it to, um, it's about 10 o'clock right now, so I'm going to set it to 10 o'clock. And the first thing you want to do is you want to wait for the second hand to come all the way around to the 12 o'clock position, and then you're going to pull the crown all the way out to its last position. So I'm going to wait, and uh, here we go. Pull the crown all the way out and stop the second hand right at the 12 o'clock position. And when you pull the crown all the way out to the third position there, that allows you to set the 24 hour hand and the minute hand. So since I'm going to set it to 10 o'clock, let's go ahead and move this around. Okay, so Ten o'clock is going to be 22, so you have the 24-hour hand pointed to 22, and you have the minute hand up. And uh, so let's not. So you don't worry about the the smaller hour hand, and don't worry about the date at this point, because today is actually the first. Okay. So once you have that set, um, you, can, you notice that the the second hand is is stopped, so you can get the time exactly like you want it. You have the 24-hour hand set, and you have the minute hand set. So then 
You can consider the watch for the most part set at this point, at least the hard part of setting the watch is done. And you can just pop the movement all the way back in, second hand starts moving, and you're done with, with part one. The next thing you have to do is you have to set the standard um, hour hand, and you have to set the date. So to do that, you pull it out to the second position, you pull the crown out to the second position, and what's nice about that is that the second hand actually continues to move. So you can set your watch ahead or back as you move east or west through time zones, and you're not actually throwing the time off. You're not losing or gaining any time. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and start moving this uh, hour hand, and you can see that just the hour hand is moving, and the date just moved. Okay, so just move to the first, and if I move it back, it'll go back to the 31st but today's the first, so I'm going to go ahead and advance it, moves to the first, and now I have to go all the way around once, because right now I'm in uh, AM, so I want to go all the way around, so now I'm in PM. Go all the way around once again to 10 o'clock. So the watch is now correctly set. Um, it's in PM. Um, the, uh, the standard hour hand is set to 10, and the 24 hour hand is set to 22, which is 10 p.m. And the date is now set for, to the first. So the watch is now correctly set. So all I have to do now is screw the crown back in. Always want to make sure your crown is screwed in when the watch is not being set, which makes it uh, dust and watertight. And uh, screw it down a little bit, and the watch is set. So again, this is a really great watch, very beautiful watch, very, very well constructed. Um, very aesthetic, in my opinion. And uh, check out the full review on, uh, on watchreport.com. Thanks for watching.